What will transportation look like in 2050? By 2050, most cars on the road will be electric. They will also fully drive themselves. Semi-trucks will also be fully autonomous and electric. Most cars will be able to get thousands of miles per charge. A full charge in two minutes, wirelessly. No more gas stations. Drones will be very big in 2050. There will be thousands of fleets delivering packages to people. Companies like Airbus and Uber are looking to make their own drone taxis. We will finally have flying cars, but also underground roads. Perhaps Hyperloop, a train in a vacuum which can go up to 700 miles per hour, which can get you from LA to San Francisco in about 40 minutes. Companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are looking to use rockets to transport people. Rockets would allow us to get from New York City to London in 20 minutes. And next, let's take a look at energy in 2050. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking what that thing is. I've been holding in all of my videos. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make it. I have to get a good lighter so I can show you guys. Hey, my birthday is coming up and I was wondering if because it's my birthday, if anybody is willing to help me out so I can get some more material so I could make one of these, but make it huge and see what it does. I won't be able to post it on TikTok. I will post it on my Instagram account. So make sure you guys follow me on there. They keep banning my videos, which is why you guys haven't seen me do it, but I will do it in my live stream. Like I said, if there's a thousand people in there. You wanna take this safety off right here. We gotta test it to see if it worked. Next, you gotta pop this wheel out. Upside down, turn it upside down and let it fly out in your hand. Then you then you wrap the spring around it and then you hit it on the ground until it turns red and then you throw it on the ground. Must be safe. Don't try to set home. Russians sent the first animals to space, a jar of fruit flies. And when the US found out about this, we knew we had to respond. It was time to send an Albert. He was destined to become the first primate in space. Unfortunately, just two minutes after takeoff, he died of suffocation. One year after the Albert One tragedy, Albert Two was on the launch pad ready to go. He survived the launch, he survived in space, making him the first primate ever in space. Huge mission success. Unfortunately, his parachute didn't open upon re-entry, and he died on impact with the ground. We sent two more missions, Albert Three and Albert Four. Unfortunately, they were both victims of rocket failure and exploded two minutes after. Albert Five, just like Albert Two, survived space, and on re-entry, his parachute went open and he died on impact with the ground. Instead of naming the next monkey Albert Six, they decided to name him York. And in 1952, York survived the launch, he survived in space, and he survived re-entry. Unfortunately, he died of overheating because his ground crew took too long to get there. He does also say we don't actually need gravity. But that's a different thing. Like, what do you mean by I that? saw someone do this. Was this a TikTok? We were watching something where someone's like, we don't actually need gravity. We were watching this with me. Like, we actually don't need it. What do you mean that we don't need gravity? What if it was never invented? Invented by who? Sir Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton created gravity. <laughs> Do not dye your hair and then piss in the shower. This is not a joke. This is not a jest. Yes, 100%. Do not do this. You will actually die. I almost lost my mom to this. Now listen, I have four other siblings, three of which are boys. So, you know, especially when we were younger, the bathrooms were just caked in piss. Like, it was awful. I mean, it's kind of a given, though. When you're that young, you can't really aim your blaster yet, so messes are gonna happen. For those of you who don't know, when you mix bleach and ammonia, the chemical that is in piss, uh, you basically create chloroform gas, which is lethal to humans. So, my mom goes into this bathroom to just clean it. You know, basic mom shit. And uh, she pours bleach in the toilet to use to clean the toilet bowl. There was still some pee in the toilet. My mom passes out in the bathroom. Luckily, my dad, when, when he was still here, saw this and he took her out of the bathroom. She could have died in there. It's really scary that a lot of people don't know that this can happen. What's something you wish you didn't know? Neuroscientist here. I don't know if this counts as something I wish I didn't know, but it's something I'm stuck with, and if I think about it too long, I get existential. Trigger warning if you are prone to existential crisis. 
Do you ever get the eerie feeling that you're living inside of a simulation? That's because you are. Buckle up. All of our sensory systems have evolved to pick up on relevant information in our external environment. For instance, our eyes are sensory organs that have evolved to pick up light from the electromagnetic spectrum. They then transduce and relay that information back to the brain so that you can make sense of what you've just seen. But when looking at the vast range of electromagnetic waves, we can actually only perceive a tiny snippet. Our ears do something similar with sound waves, but humans can only pick up on frequencies between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. That's actually why we can't hear most animals. Believe it or not, they talk and sing. Even crazier, so do plants. Some plants even appear to scream when you cut them. Unfortunately, this is too much information for me to relay to you in just one minute, so be sure to check out part 2 if you want to know more. Những điều trường học dạy cho bạn, nhưng không đúng sự thật. Chúng ta không bị cảm do mắt mưa, nhưng mà chỉ đơn thuần do bị dính virus cảm mà thôi. Những cục mụn trên lưng con cóc mặc dù có độc tố nhưng không phải là nguyên nhân gây ra mụn cóc trên da của bạn khi bạn chạm vào nó, mà do virus ngoài da gây ra thôi, nên bạn đừng có đối thừa cho nó nữa, tội nghiệp cóc lắm. Loài dây không hề bị mù tí nào mà còn ngược lại nữa, những con dây lớn có thể nhìn tốt hơn con người gấp 3 lần. Cái bướu của con lạc đài nhiều người nói là dùng để chữ nước chứ thực ra dùng để chữ mở nha mọi người. Rồi bạn thì rớt môn toán cứ tự nhủ với nhau rằng à nhà vật lý học nổi tiếng như thế giới Albert Einstein còn rớt môn toán nữa thì nói gì mình, nhưng thực ra ông không rớt cái môn đó nha mọi người. Ông cũng có rớt đó nhưng mà rớt bài thi xét tuyển vào trường đại học Zurich Polytechnic. Trong bài thi đó thì ông không rớt môn toán nhưng mà ông rớt những môn khác. Một trong những môn rất sầm mặt nhất là tiếng Pháp vì đó ông không giỏi tiếng Pháp lắm. What is the best alarm sound? It's definitely not this. According to research at Washington University, researchers have claimed to find a sound that wakes you up but doesn't annoy you. So last night I tried this alarm for myself. Here's the footage.